Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How is life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. It's Friday and I had the day off today. The governor gave us the day off because yesterday was a holiday and being a state employee, he can he can do that. Uh, he did not give us the day off between uh, Juneteenth and we had Juneteenth, West Virginia Day and then a Friday. So I took that day. I was taking today off regardless, but he gave it back to me. I didn't have to take, I didn't have to spend PTO, which is nice. It's very nice. And um, I do not take that for granted ever. It's always like, thanks. You know, I really appreciate the time off. Um, but today's, so today's a time off day for me. And Malia ended up working a bunch extra this week so she could have the day as well because her work is really flexible. It's like you can work you know, four tens if you want, whatever. Um, so she worked uh, a bunch extra this week so that she could take the day off as well, which is cool. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't think we've ever talked about this. I am an early person. I'm a morning person. Uh, I Not by choice. It just seems to have worked out that way. When I was a mechanic, uh, I had to be at work by... I think they wanted us there by 7.30. Uh, I usually got there by 7 because I'm an early person. I've always been an early person. Not necessarily a morning person, but I've always been an early person. If you tell me to be there at 2, I'm going to be there at one thirty. Whatever. At least at least 15 minutes early. Never, not normally a half hour early. But I would set my alarm for 6 and wake up whatever. So that was when I was a mechanic. That was two, three-ish jobs ago. I don't know. That was a few jobs ago. Between being a mechanic and being an IT person, I ran a uh, uh, sign shop slash computer repair store, and that required me to be there. We worked 8 to 5, so I would be up early, or, but not as early, but I would go do the thing. Uh, and then, when I worked for the school system, I had to be there at 7.30, and it was a 20-minute drive. Uh, so... I usually got there at 7.15 or, you know, 7.10, whatever. I got up early, left early. And that's just kind of carried through because I like being out early. So that job was 7.30 to 3. I got off at 3. Um, and my current job is uh, 8 to 3.30, 8 to 4. I usually work the extra time. Like, it, I could work. 8 to 3.30 if I took a half hour lunch instead of an hour lunch. But I, I take an hour lunch. I do, you know, whatever. Anyway, all this is to say that that part is, you know, sure I'm on a schedule, but I haven't set an alarm clock in at least since before Malia has been around. So probably almost 10 years. So... 35, 36, 37, somewhere around there, I just started waking up at 5, between 5 and 5.30 every morning. I just wake up. Um, doesn't matter if I go to sleep at 10, 11, 12, I wake up at 5.30. And that's just how it is. And that's, it's been weird and it's been my life for the last 10 years, almost 10 years. So I get up early, which means I have the mornings to just kind of I read, I meditate, I do uh, my back exercises, maybe now I'll play my bass some, I'll play games on my phone, I'll watch videos or listen to podcasts, like I just kind of have a nice little gentle morning. However, this is, this is going to come across as negative, this is not a negative thing, uh, Malia has been waking up early all this week, just weirdly. She's always been a night owl, sleep in. Uh, this week, like today, she was up at 7. She was, uh, you know, whatever. So at like 8 o'clock this morning, she's like, you want to go play pickleball? And I was like, yeah, I do. Let's go do that. Uh, it was, <laughs> it had rained all night. And our they so they put pickleball courts in, in this park right here. Uh, we usually walk there. But today we decided to drive because we looked out and saw puddles on the road. And when they put these courts in, they're not crowned. They're actually dished. So they hold a lot of water. And we were like, well, we'll drive over and see what it looks like and then drive back if it's not, you know, if it's if it's too much. So we drove over there and um, it was, there was a pond, but uh, to our surprise, at some point, 
this is the first time we've played this year, they put a drain in one half of the court. So there's a drain running along the length of one half of the court. I really wish that drain went the whole length, but whatever. Uh, the nice thing was, uh, we maybe a half hour, we were able to squeegee um, all the water off of one side, and then the sun was coming in and out of the clouds, it eventually dried up, and we played. We played two matches by ourselves, a couple and their daughter showed up, and they were playing three, you know, 2v1. And then they were like, you want to play doubles? I'm like, sure. And so we ended up playing doubles with them for three games and had a really good time. It was fun. It was We had never played doubles before, so it was our first time doing doubles. And we enjoyed ourselves, and we enjoyed playing and being sweaty at 8 o'clock in the morning. We, we came back. We got back here at, like, right around 11, I think. Uh, so we, we were out there quite a while. Maybe it was 1030. Whatever. doesn't matter. We were out there quite a while. And that was a really interesting way to start my morning because usually... Like I said, I have that couple, you know, if I wake up at 5, she wakes up at 9, I've got 4 hours to myself. I work at 7.30, so I start my current job at 7.30, but it's still quiet time, me by myself, doing whatever, you know, work stuff, and I can focus and, and get a lot done. Um, but yeah, on a day off, for her to wake up at 7 and come out and be like, you want to do something? Like, yeah, let's go. So we had a good day. It was really good. And then we went and bought furniture. Uh, we needed new new couches. Our couches were getting kind of old, um, so we went and bought new furniture, <laughs> which is fun. It's fun to uh, go make adult purchases. Like, I, you know, I'm still I'm, mentally I'm a child, uh, and it's so it's fun to go make adult purchases. We, we enjoyed ourselves. That's been our day, and tomorrow, uh, my sister, I think we're gonna go do a little uh, grill and and uh, I don't know. Probably swim. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Just another another day. What do you got going on this weekend? Anything exciting? Uh, I, other than my... I don't really have anything exciting. But, you know, hang out, read books, play bass, do the stuff I normally do. Let me know what you got going on in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart is whimsical. It's an adjective meaning erratic, unpredictable, capricious. How truly does this journal contain my real and un undisguised thoughts? I always write it according to the humor I am in. And if a stranger was to think it worth reading, how capricious, insolent, and whimsical I must appear. Francis Burney, a British novelist, diarist, and playwright. Capricious. Or not capricious. Whimsical. W-H-I-M-S-I-C-A-L. I was thinking cap capricious because it used it in the thing. I was also curious to know if we covered capricious because to me, yeah, we did. Prone to change mind, decision, or course, blah, blah, blah. Huh. I thought capricious was more, it had a uh, flirty, not necessarily sexual, but a, a sex element to it. I thought capricious was like you, being a capricious person means that you are flirty. <laughs> 